Hello, you are welcome to GB Jobo Online Mathematics. Today we are going to be looking at fraction. We are going to be looking at fraction. Fraction is one of the major topics in mathematics. We come across it in all fields, in all areas, especially subjects that involve calculation, like science subjects that involve calculation, physics, chemistry. I think we can also apply fraction there. Now, what are fraction? Fraction are numbers expressed as a quotient in which a numerator is divided by a denominator. For example, we say A over B is an example of fraction. You can see A here is a numerator. A here is a numerator. A here is a numerator. Why B here is a denominator? According to the definition there, you can see, if you look up here, you can see the definition. We say fractions are number expressed as a quotient in which a numerator is divided by a denominator. From what we have here, A is divided B. Therefore, A is a numerator, B is a denominator. Now, you can see, we said where A and B represent an integers. And what are integers? Integers are number with no decimal point or decimal fraction. For example, one, there is no decimal point in one. There is no decimal point in two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on and so forth. I think we have many other numbers. We have many other numbers. Now, we can also have integers as minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus six, even minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, so on and so forth. It means that we can also have neg negative number in, to infinity, the same thing applies to positive number. It means that in mathematics there are two types of fraction. That in, sorry, there are two types of uh, integers. I mean, in mathematics there are two types of what integers because we are focusing our mind first at uh, the on the one of uh, integers because we are discussing integer first. Meaning, it what integers and uh, implies. We say integers simply mean what numbers with no decimal points. We have two types of integers: positive integers and negative uh, integers. Even zero is also part of integers. Zero. Zero is also included when we are listing uh, integers. Meaning these are positive integers. The one, we, the one that do not carry negative sign are called positive integers, while the number with negative sign are called negative uh, integers. We we'll look at all these numbers, they are, with, they, are, they, are with, they are without decimal points, and no fractional part is involved. Example like this, is, is, they are all uh, called what? Integers. Please don't forget I said zero is also part of the uh, integers. Now, let us see again. Okay, we have said, say for example, we have looked at it there. For example, we have looked at it, look at some of the examples of integers. Some of the examples of integers, they are already given there. Now, I think we can now move on now. Let us look at the two types of uh, fraction. What do we look at the two types of fraction? In mathematics, there are two types of fractions. Please don't forget that in mathematics there are two types of uh, fraction. Types of fractions. In mathematics there are two types of uh, fraction. Now we have proper fraction as the first one. Proper fraction. Proper fraction as the first one. Now what is proper fraction? When the numerator is less than, when the numerator is less than when there is uh, the numerator. The numerator for proper fraction numerator numerator sorry numerator is less than the denominator the numerator is less than the denominator for example for example let us see for example for example I think we have, uh, for example, let us see. Whenever we have a numerator, whereby the numerator is less than the denominator, such fraction is what we call proper fraction. Example, uh, I think we have one over two as, a, as an example. One over three is also an example. Two over five, two over five is also an example. Uh, five over six is also an example. Even uh, 10, over, 10 over 15 is also an example. You can see. All these fractions are called proper fractions. Why do we call it proper fraction? You can see the numerator here is less than the denominator. Meaning every one of every number at the top of it, they are all less than the one at the bottom. 
A number like this are called proper fraction. Don't also forget that this proper fraction can as well be written as a uh, the proper fraction can as well be written. The proper fraction can as well be written, meaning it can it can be written as a decimal fraction. It can be written as what? Decimal fraction. Proper fraction can be written as a decimal fraction. You can see here we said the num numerator is less than the denominator. For example, these are examples, some of the examples we have. We say it can also be written, it can be written as a decimal fraction. Meaning we can as well convert proper fraction to decimal fraction. We can as well convert that. In my next video, we are going to look at how to convert proper fraction to decimal fraction. Okay, then we'll now look at the other type, improper fraction. Improper fraction is another example, another type, I mean, improper fraction. We don't look at it. Improper fraction. Improper. Improper fraction. Improper fraction. In this one, the numerator. The numerator. The numerator is greater. The numerator is greater than the denominator. For example, for example, we have the uh, 5 over 2. You can see here 5 over 2 is bigger than two, that the numerator is greater now. Meaning, therefore, we can say you know, a fraction like this is a is an improper work fraction. Another example is a uh, 6 over 6 over uh, 4. It's another example. Another one is a uh, 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 7 over 2, 8 over 5, another one is 7 over 3. All these, you can see now, that all these, they are all greater. The numerator, they are greater than, so uh, again, yeah, the numerator are greater than the denominator. If examples like this are called improper fraction. These are the two types. In mathematics, these are the two major types of uh, fraction we have. In mathematics, these are the two types. The major types of fraction we have. This fraction here, it can, this fraction here can as well be written. This fraction here, it can, it can also be written. It can also be written as a decimal fraction, as a missed number. Okay, it can as well write as a missed number. Miss number, miss number, or decimal fraction, or decimal fraction. You can see these are the two major types of fraction we have in mathematics. It means that we have proper fraction, we also have a improper. Fraction. Please take note, these are the two major types of fraction we have in mathematics. Proper fraction and improper fraction. In my next video, we are going to look at how we can convert proper fraction to what? Remember I told you that proper fraction can be converted to decimal fraction. I will also teach you how to convert proper fraction to missed number and also to what? Decimal fraction. Thank you very much. At this point, we end the class. Please try and stay with me for the next class as we look at the proper fraction to decimal fraction and also how to change the proper fraction to a missed number or decimal fraction. Thank you very much for this discussion and I believe you are still with me. Please just stay for the next class. I'll be right back to give you more. Thank you.